I mean, literally, the Senate, what is it, like a French work week? You get like three days where you have to show up? My campaign is going to be about the future of America. It's not going to be about attacking anyone else on this stage. Tonight, a pair of presidential candidates from Florida going at it on a national stage. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulba. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. Former Governor Jeb Bush and current Senator Marco Rubio are supposedly friends, but you'd never know it watching tonight's GOP debate exchange. And you should be showing up to work. I mean, literally, the Senate, what is it, like a French work week? You get like three days where you have to show up? You can campaign or just resign and let someone else take the job. You know, over the last few weeks, I've listened to Jeb as you've walked around the country and said that you're modeling your campaign after John McCain, that you're going to launch a furious comeback the way he did by fighting hard in New Hampshire and places like that, carrying your own bag at the airport. You know how many votes John McCain missed when he was carrying out that furious comeback that you're now modeling it I'm, under? He wasn't my No, Jeb, I don't remember. Senator. Well, let me tell you, I don't remember you ever complaining about John McCain's vote record. The only reason why you're doing it now is because we're running for the same position, and someone has convinced you that attacking me is going to help you. Wow. CBS 4's Craig Boswell continues our campaign 2016 coverage from Boulder, Colorado, the site of tonight's debate. Craig? Ruta Bay and Rick, good evening to you. The two candidates from Florida, Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio, really going after one another in those clips that you showed. I caught up with Jeb Bush literally about 12 or 13 minutes ago in the hallway. He says he felt like he got a chance tonight to get his points across, to talk about his plans. He insisted he was not frustrated over the weekend when he was talking about the tone of the campaign. Meanwhile, the person at the center of the, center of the stage tonight, Donald Trump, unusually quiet for a longer period of time. Here's highlights from tonight. Debate. Hit oil. He got the two top polling fracking. candidates, Washington really? outsiders oil, Ben Carson and Donald Trump, and left much it. of the early contentious debating to the eight other it's competitors on stage. Ohio Governor pass. John Kasich questioned their abilities. Folks, we got to wake up. We, we cannot elect somebody that doesn't know how to do the job. Jeb Bush, who's had to cut spending and reorganize his campaign structure, went after fellow Floridian Marco Rubio for missing votes in the Senate. Marco, when you signed up for this, this was a six-year term, and you should be showing up to work. I mean, literally, the Senate, what is it, like a French work week? Someone has convinced you that attacking me is going to help you. Well, Senator Ted Cruz criticized the debate moderators. The questions that are being asked shouldn't be trying to get people to tear into each other, it should be, what are your substantive okay, solutions okay. to people? I, I, I just want the record to reflect, Guys, I asked you about the dead limit and on. I got no answer. Second place Trump spoke out against super PACs and in defense of his business record. I never filed for bankruptcy. I used the laws of the country to my benefit. I'm sorry. Frontrunner Carson maintained his signature low profile, but was asked to clarify his vague tax policy. The rate is going to be much closer to 15%. 15% still leaves you with a $1.1 well, trillion hole. You also have to get rid of all the deductions and all the loopholes. The future of Social Security prompted agreement from candidates on the opposite ends of the stage. Yes, we've lied to the American people about Social Security. Let's tell people the truth. For once, let's do that and stop trying to give them some kind of fantasy. Voters can start weighing in on what they've heard in less than 100 days. After a pair of terse exchanges with the moderator, John Harwood, Donald Trump tonight insisted as he was coming out to talk to the media that he was not fading in his campaign. He did feel like some of the questions he says were not necessarily nice, but he insists that his momentum is still strong. We'll see. Rick and Rudabay, back to you. Craig, thank you. Big night out there.